Now we're going to get into. <clears throat> so you, you leave Lowe's from the restructuring. Look, I've been restructured. <laughs> I just talked about it on one of the other podcasts of just walking in and they got the sheet saying, okay, sign this. Like at least in my instance, I got a severance. But so you said you met some friends say, yo, you can get into IT. Let's talk about that transition of getting into IT and, and what you did and, and how did you do it? Yeah, I was kind of like pedaling back and forth, kind of skating in and out of it. And so like I was, you know, I heard that you, hey, you need to study for these different certifications. And so like I was kind of in and out trying to learn about what a computer is and stuff like that. But I never really took it serious. But it was when the restructuring happened because I had to make a decision. I remember my friend told me, he said, are you going to keep working these dead end jobs or are you going to take a leap? Like you got nothing to lose. And so I like they tried to give me a job making less than what I was making you know, in their restructuring process. And I was like, nah, I'm good. And so I like, I was jobless and I just hit like, uh, I think pro TV or something like that. Whatever. IT pro TV. <laughs> yeah. IT pro TV. And like, I consumed it. I'm talking about like, I was in there consuming it. I was like every single day I was just churning it out. And, uh, and I, and then like, I was trying to find a job too. And so, and I, I ended up landing a job, uh, probably like, a month and a half later. And what year is this? This was probably 2020, I believe. 2021, okay. 2020, something like that. 2020 probably. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's kind of how the initial uh, jump into IT happened um, with getting from Lowe's to IT. Like I, I was doing a lot of networking and one of the guys in my church, he was a, a director of IT. And so I was like, yo, like, uh, you know, when I found that out, I was studying every day. I was already studying every day. And then, like, I was able to, I found him because uh, I was networking in the church. And then he was like, I was like, hey, man, can I, you know, like, just give me, can I get an interview, you know? And so, man, from there, it was like, he hit me up probably a couple weeks later. And the rest was history, really. Yeah. So, during that time, were you at church in Ruston or were you out here? I was out here. Yeah, okay. I was all in Dallas. This was okay. all, yeah, DFW area. Got it. So you moved from Kansas City to Dallas? Yeah, to DFW. Yep. Okay. Like like most of us. <laughs> it, it, like, I would have, like, if I had known you back then, the only thing I would have said is, like, hey, you know, you probably can move to Bolger and possibly get your IT job because GDIT is there. Like, that's probably the only thing I would have said. I was like, well, check GDIT out <laughs> if, you, if you didn't want to come, like, straight start from zero. And so I believe, if I remember, if memory serves me correct, you were working at a school or the school district? Yeah, I was working in the school district, yep. Which school district was it? That was South Lake. Okay. Uh, yeah, South Lake ISD. Yeah, that's crazy. Carroll ISD. Kenneth yeah. and I were just talking about South Lake. He's like, man, how do these people have all this money out here? Dude, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a different monster out there with the resources that they have. Mm -hmm. So when you were, um, so how I'm trying to see... I can't remember because, like I said, it's been so long because we said yeah. it's like 2021, so it's almost three years. It's been four years, bro. Because I remember, I mean, yeah, it's been four years, I, dog. I probably can find. It's been four, bro, because I, I, like, I, I think I remember. It's four. It's been four, bro. You sure? It's Or three and a half. I think it's been three. And, I think it's 2021 because I remember I didn't start my official. I did pilot. I did a pilot episode of my podcast late 2020 with Justice. And then in 2021 is when I actually started the podcast. So that's how I, I kind of kind of. Chronicalize everything. But I met you before the podcast because it wasn't the, you didn't have a podcast yet because this was back in the gap when your prices was like $50. I was like. Yeah. I don't remember <laughs> that, but I'm trying to, I got to, I, 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 I was supposed to transfer all my stuff from my old Outlook over here so I could see my emails. But I think Calendly still has like the information on when I talk to people, but I was sure it was like early 2021. Maybe. I think it was. I think it was early 2021 for the simple fact that right after I helped you, I ended up moving back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. So, so yeah, yeah, it was early 2021. Early 2021. So, I remember that, like, you hit me up, like, out of the blue. And I think I asked you, like, yo, where did you find out about me? Like, uh, <laughs> bro, you know what happened was I was trying to pass those certs, those little, those CompTIA certs. Right. And you, you and Dayspring were the only ones that really had information out. Like, and you were just... Like, I was trying to figure out how to navigate in the field. Right. And also, I was trying to figure out how to pass those certs. And so, day spring, and you were all about navigating the field. And so, I just ate and consumed all that stuff. And then I was like, yo, like, I can actually get in touch with this guy? Yeah. That's, that was my thing. I was like, I can, you know, like, reach out to him and, 
like actually like message him. I was like, oh man, this is by far, this is it, you know? Yeah. And <laughs> I always tell people that I'm able to tell what clients of mine are going to be successful from like our first encounter versus who's going to need a little work. And it's always comes from obedience and not in the obedience, a fact of just listening to me. Cause I said so, but obedience and knowing that, Hey, he's not going to tell me anything that's not going to help me. Like, so I think you got that early on because we, we did your resume. We had the conversation. We did your resume. Or actually, you did it, and they gave it to me. It was trash, man. Everything <laughs> I did was trash. And I would send it to you. And I was kind of getting, like, I guess free help. Like, you were at the point to where you were kind of helping me. And I wasn't paying the price that I should have been paying. And you were just like, I guess I just wanted it. And you seen it. And you were like, yo, I want to help you get to where you need to be. Yeah. And so it was pretty dope. Like, you were just telling me everything to do. And I was like. But the thing is, you did it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, everybody doesn't have, like, like I said, if you go going on Dayspring. I met Dayspring in a pandemic. Young 18-year-old kid asked me about, hey, how I do this, this, and this? I'm saying, hey, do this, this, and this. He listens. Go gets an internship. Gets a full-time. Comes to work with me at Optif. So it's the same way. Like, I always tell people, if you just listen, like, I'm in a decade, like, I'm I'm going to tell you things I've learned along the way and things I know that will help you be better than me early on in your career. And all the people who listen, y'all are much better than I was early on into your career versus when I started my career. So, I'm like, if y'all listening, listen to that. Like, when I'm telling you things, it's to be better than me. I'm not the type of person that's trying to keep you down so I still remain the big man. That's That's not what it is. 